So I started thinking about ancestors and then I started thinking about reincarnation and then I started thinking about, well, which ancestors are we talking about? Is it only the ancestors from this body, from this life, or is it ancestors from previous lives? I'm going to go down like this huge rabbit hole and I'm so excited that you're here. I want you to leave me some comments, like really think about this and let me know what you think. Maybe I'm going too deep in the rabbit hole. Maybe I'm just so far off here, but I feel this in my soul. Okay, so let's get into it. When we are talking about our ancestors, we are typically thinking about the ancestors from this specific body, this specific life. So I would think of my mom and dad, then I would think of their parents and their parents and their parents and their parents and so on. That's what you think about when you say your ancestors. But in my mind, I'm thinking about, okay, I know reincarnation is real. I know that I have lived multiple lives. My daughter has lived multiple lives. When she was four years old, she could tell me how she died in a previous life. And she kept telling me, you're not my only mommy. Like she was so adamant. You are not my only mommy. And when I would say, yeah, I am. You came out of mommy. I, I had gave birth to you. You're not my only mommy. She was firm in this. She knew this. So I know incarnation is real. It is a fact. We all reincarnate. And because the universe has been around for billions of years, that would stand to reason that we have been reincarnating for billions of years. Or if you even want to take it down to when humans first came here millions of years ago, we've been reincarnating for millions of years. So that means that I have been inside of every kind of race, every gender, every ethnicity. I've been born in every country. I've been a boy in every country, a girl in every country. I have been every color, every creed, everything, many, 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 many times. Right? If that is what reincarnation is, it's you're reincarnating. I'm not just reincarnating into this exact family line over and over and over and over. What would be the point of reincarnation? The point is to experience, to learn, to live, to have different genders, different ethnicities, different identities, different nationalities. You speak a different language. You have a different culture. That's how your soul grows and how your soul learns. So you have literally been every single gender, Every single ethnicity, every single nationality, every single culture, many, 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 a few more, many, many times. So what ancestors are we talking about? Is it the ancestors from this life? Or would my ancestors from a past life in a different body, in a different nationality, in a different ethnicity say, oh, you're not in our line anymore. We, we got to go, Right. I don't think that's the case. Like when I think of my ancestors, I feel like this whole entire room is so full it's bursting. I feel like there's so many ancestors behind me and like my grandmother was an only child on my dad's side. There's not a ton of family there. My grandmother on my mom's side only had one sibling. There's not a ton of family there, right? I cannot imagine like the amount of thousands of ancestors I can feel in this room with me is just from this body, this genetic line. Am I making sense or am I just like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? But then that also stands to reason too that if I've reincarnated millions of times, which I believe in, and I've been every race, every ethnicity, every gender, every nationality, I have experienced everything many times, would that then not mean that somewhere through evolution, I have been, go with me here, in a nationality, in an ethnicity, in a gender, in a line of genes that you are in or have been in, which would mean that you are one with me and I am one with you, which would mean that your ancestors are my ancestors, which would mean that you're my sister or brother or person and I'm your sister or brother or person, right? Like, am I right on this? Am I like going into the cuckoo's nest? 
I feel like this is so true. Like as I'm saying it, I'm getting like the chills and the goosebumps. And for me as a medium, as a psychic, when I do my work, chills and goosebumps is my indication. Like, yeah, you're on the right path. Keep going. Keep saying that. Keep moving forward with that. So then that would mean that we are all one. We are all related. We are all connected. If you have been the same as I have been in many bodies, many ethnicities, every single gender, race, every single culture, you've lived in every country, spoken every language, through the millions of times your soul has reincarnated and lived a life here on this physical earth, that means that somewhere at some point in time, many, many, many times, our souls have been in the same gene pool. Our souls have been reincarnated in the same set of genes of, of ancestry, if you will. And then that stands to reason then that we have all lived and been connected to the same ancestors at some point in time. Maybe I experienced your ancestry line a thousand years ago, a million years ago, but I experienced it and I was in it and my soul is connected to that line. And now you're connected to that line. But this has happened thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So that means that you're me. I'm you. You're my brother. You're my sister. You're my cousin. You're my mom. You're my dad. Like we have all been connected in some way to each other through all of the lifetimes that we have been through. Right? Like doesn't that make total sense? And it would make sense to me too that we are all one, we are all connected, we are all love, we are all unity. We don't live that way. Our society doesn't live that way, which is so painful and so sad to think about. But you're connected to me. It doesn't matter what race you are right now. It doesn't matter what body you're in, what nationality you are. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. It doesn't matter where you were born. You're connected to me through ancestry through genetics, through our soul line, through the many times we've reincarnated. My last lifetime, I could have been in Germany, for example, and all of those ancestors from that lifetime, that mother and father, their parents, their parents, their parents, their parents, their parents, their parents, their parents overdoing that millions, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of times, eventually we all come back to the same thing. I, I, it makes sense in my head. Like the words, I feel like they're not coming out the way they're supposed to, but put it in the comments. What, what do you think about this? Like when people say ancestors, do you only think about the ancestors from this, this body, this lifetime, the ancestors from mom and dad? That's it. What about the ancestors from your past life? What about your ancestors from your past, past life, past, past, past life? You're connected to them still. You're still a part of them. I'm still a part of you. You're still a part of me because we've been connected forever throughout the entire existence of time. So why do we feel so separate in the world that we're in? Why are we so divided? Why are we so, and I hate to say this word, but why are we so hateful towards each other? If you're connected to me and I'm connected to you, which it makes complete sense in my head that we are through all of the reincarnations, all of the ancestry, at some point we have all connected somehow, some way, thousands and thousands of times we've connected over and over and over and over and over and over and over again through genetics, through ancestry, through reincarnation. Why are we not closer together as, as a humanity? Why are we so divided? And I mean, like we're divided on everything. Why are we not more connected? Why are we not heart centered, like with each other more harmoniously, like in love with being a human and being connected? I, it just feels unnatural to me that we're not connected and, and harmonious with each other and in love with each other and helping each other and feeling that connection. Let me know what you think. Like this is such a mind blowing topic. I cannot stop thinking about this. It's been going through my mind all day long. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video. 
You guys will be honest with me. If I'm crazy, tell me I'm crazy. But it makes so much sense when I connect to my soul and I think about these things. It makes so much sense that you are me and I am you. You are my brother, sister, person. I am your brother, sister, person. Many, 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 many times over. I'll see you in the next video.